this video I'm going to be working out an individual integral. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the integral of cosine x over 1 minus cosine x squared dx. Um, in this uh, integral I am going to use this Pythagorean triplet um, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Alright, we can take this and manipulate it any way we want. So in other words, I could, sign for, I could solve for sine squared x by subtracting that cosine squared x from both sides. And I would get that 1 minus cosine x squared, which is what we see right here. Alright, so my first step is going to be to do that substitution. I'm going to replace that denominator with a sine squared x. So then I'm going to have the integral of a cosine x over a sine squared x dx. All right, from here, this is just going to become a regular, straightforward um, u substitution. So then I'm going to let my u be my inside function. Well, if I take a look at that bottom, I've got a sine x squared, sine squared x. That means my inside function is sine x, so I'm going to let my u be sine x. I'm then going to take the derivative of both sides. I'll have a du is equal to a cosine x dx. I'm going to go ahead and solve all the way down for dx. So I'll have a du over cosine x is equal to my dx. All right, so straightforward u substitution here. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do some substituting. So I'll have the integral. Cosine x is going to stay the same. My um, sine x squared here, I let u be sine x, so then I'm going to have a u squared on the bottom. That dx I'm going to replace with my du over cosine x. All right, what that's going to allow me to do now is then cross out those cosine x's. That'll leave me with a 1 right there on the top. So I'm going to have the integral of 1 over u squared du. I'm now all in terms of u, so I can um, take this, use my laws of exponents, move it upward. So I'll have the integral of a u to a negative 2 du. So now I can actually integrate here. Um, adding 1 to that um, exponent there, I'll have a u to the minus 1, bringing it down in front, I'll have a minus 1, and then plus c, going in and substituting my u back in there. Since that is a u to the negative 1, I am going to move it to the bottom. So that'll give me a negative 1 over sine x plus c. Alright, so pretty much a straightforward u substitution integral. You'd probably find this uh, pretty early on in a Calc 1 class. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends so they can benefit too. Thanks.